our desperate handful a left back has handed us back in the wrong hands the hands of chelsea mr overpricer well will they again rip us off the way they did with mason mount uh, back then well here we go united according to fabrizio romano have been inquiring about the availability of that man mark Cucurella, the spanish international who has won only one cup joined uh, chelsea in 2022 from brighton and hover beyond uh, sco uh, hasn't scored a goal assisted twice in 24 games is he the player manchester united l should be looking at to come in and fill the void that is going to be left or that has been left already by uh, the sick now the bedridden left back in Luke Shaw at least until uh, probably September or after the international break it's a bit of time what exactly is Eric Ten Hag up to now just a bit about Kukurela he's you know a ball playing left back he, he's an Eric Ten Hag kind of left back to be honest and my only issue is the cost at which he would come because here is what I think he's earning 175,000 pounds per week uh, for uh, for, for Ch at Chelsea, I'm not sure uh, whether that's Man United is willing to add add on their wage bill uh, because maybe you get a little uh, less than that because I don't think he's a top top uh, player for Chelsea. He's not really top of their plans uh, for for for, uh, for Pochettino. Uh, but also for me. Uh, the cost at which he will come is one. Uh, I hope they don't overprice uh, him. Uh, if they do, we should run away and give a chance to Alvaro Fernandez. I think, for me, I don't have issues with trusting youngsters. When they show they can, trust them. That's why I'm mad that United are talking of letting go of Pelistri. And they're still insisting on that loan move. I mean, he has been a promising youngster. Why are you letting go of him when you don't have young player, you, you don't have players? Build the team. You're rebuilding. Anyhow, so... Uh, that's uh, Kukurela. Uh, United uh, uh, have been inquiring about him. That's according to Fabrizio Romano. This early morning, of course, uh, that update while you probably uh, were sleeping. And uh, uh, yeah, so he's the player we're looking at. Uh, he's not the best left back ever. But like I said, he's a ball player. He's Spanish. Obviously, he will be a ball player even if he's a defender. Uh, but for me, the cost at which he can, because for me right now, if whereas the left back position is urgent and... Uh, United have got now another need that perhaps was not planned for earlier on. I personally don't think uh, it, is, uh, it, it is what we should be spending on first for me now. To be honest, I think before anything, United, every money, because the reason we've not uh, made a bid for Sofian Amrabat yet is because we do not have the money to bid but now if we can raise some bit of money uh, whichever amount and of course the cost of Corella will never be the cost of Sofian Amrabat my thinking is focus every fund every penny you get now on getting Sofian Amrabat we can manage in the left back Diogo Dalot proved that he can do a decent job there but also trust the young boy Alvaro Fernandez because for me in pre-season he's one of those who are more imp most impressive and exciting trust these young kids United is all about trusting young players uh, but uh, Corella seems to be the guy of course this organizing our plan our initial plan and of course uh, Chelsea will try to might ask for an arm and a leg uh, and we know them they have they are in the mood uh, they over so priced a player they, they ripped us off with Mason Mount who has solved nothing I remember when Mount came I was here and made a statement and said I just want to understand what problem Mount is solving for Manchester United because we have problem. Kukurela coming in would be solving a left-back problem because there is one what problem was Mount uh, solving uh, for us to go and you know pay millions of pounds for him before even going in the market to find a backup for Casemiro that has been an obvious you know need that we've had again uh, Eric Ten Hag is the boss uh, but let's see uh, how all this goes but uh, looking at Kukurela and I was thinking about uh, the evolution of left the left back position at Manchester United uh, from uh, uh, you know there's so many left backs we've had and by the way the left back position is one that has been a bit uh, of a challenge for Manchester United I think since Patrice Evra I try to think, of course, back then we had the likes of uh, Sylvester, uh, of course, Evra. Uh, we had uh, players like uh, Blind, uh, Dali Blind, uh, who came in there. Uh, quite a number of players. Marcos Rojo also came and played left back and centre back at times. <coughs> I think uh, the left back position is one that has been confusing, and Luke Shaw seemed to have. Uh, solved it i think he has always been there and he's been looked at as i think the man who should be you know taking on that position in luke show but of course uh, he suffered a lot with injuries early in his career and i hope he's not coming back uh, but i look at this left back position and i'm thinking it's an important position obviously but uh 
who who should be the right left back for United? I look around on the market and look at all the left backs we've been linked with, and we've been linked to, with many. Uh, Ryan Bertrand, who last played for Leicester City, is unattached. Uh, he would be a, ch a cheaper option, uh, but uh, what would he add to this Eric Ten Hag team? I saw one Bissaka playing confidently. Oh goodness, Bissaka is actually a baller, guys. He's a serious baller. Now, if we have a baller like Bissaka on the left. Uh, Kokurela is a baller himself as well. Uh, he's Spanish, obviously. That's how they play their football, even if they're defenders. I do think we can actually, uh, you know, look exciting from the back because if you have a, a ball playing goalkeeper, I don't know whether that it would be a little too much. But if you have Onana, but that's how Eric Ten Hag wants to play. If you have uh, on Onana in goal, ball playing goalkeeper. If you have a ball playing centre back in Lisandro Martinez, oh God, I'd love Martinez with the ball on his left foot. It looks interesting. The butcher. Uh, then you have, of course, Varen, the decent passer, is an organizer. Uh, then on the right, you've got Bisaka, and on the left, you've got uh, Kukurela. That's a whole ball playing back five, uh, including Onana. Then again, for me, that's good because then you've got an extra, uh, you know. Uh, uh, an extra player. All players in your back line are able to initiate play uh, because that's what ball players do for you. They initiate and direct play going forward. Now, for me, that would look good, <coughs> but at what cost? Because I don't want us signing Kokurela to affect us getting Sofian Amrabat because Amrabat should be the top uh, target for Manchester United. For me, that's the little bit of issue, but also the cost. If he's earning £175,000 per week, in the situation we are in, is that a wage... Uh, that we, we are we, we are willing to take on right now. I I I I, I actually have reservations about that. Uh, maybe of course he will come in for less, a little less. But he is a sort of a, he would be a panic buy. So panic buys are never cheap. They are never cheap because we are panicking because of a need. We didn't expect that Luke Shaw would be out for this period of time. So it's a it's a difficult situation United is in now. But I think nothing that we can't deal with or manage. So. Yeah, Kukurela is Spanish, one cup for Spain. He's not your best of players, yes, but hmm, he can come in. For me, the only issue is at what cost he will come in. If we can get him on a chip, which is so, 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 so unlikely when you're dealing with Chelsea, more so in this window when they are so excited. They have been selling players left, right, and center, mostly, uh, you know in Saudi Arabia, but also in the Premier League, you know, ripping off play, all clubs with their players who are not yielding results. You see how Arsenal fans are, are, are arguing about Kai Havers. He was the, in the same the same situation. I think uh, Mount and Havers. Mount is situation is a little different because he has man united fans have got a lot of issues to deal with we want amrabat we are you know, but in terms of flopping i think he has really you know he, they are competing with kai havers uh, so far and uh, third bit is that he's even injured you don't know how we return after that injury so, but for kai havers people are calling for his head but i think uh, arsenal paid over 65 million pounds for him uh, to join from chelsea so chelsea has been ripping off everyone moises kai sedo uh, of course uh, they were also ripped off probably uh, maybe that's the, but anyway, let me not rely on Chelsea. Let's talk uh, Manchester United. So, I told you about the sell to buy situation at Manchester United, and yeah, like I told you, this was the week uh, where uh, we expected John Mata to be so serious and busy, and it's, it, seems to, it seems to be the case because uh, I think there are bits of advances and moves being done, you know, behind closed doors uh, with the players we want to let go of, with Donny van de Beek and Scott McTominay and the like. So, uh, Manchester United are uh, working, and uh, the whole idea is for us to get as much money as we. We can so that we bid for players before the end of the summer. Uh, so that's where we are. Top in, most important player uh, has been Sofian Amrabat. But uh, now Kukurea has come in and trying to disorganize the plan. But also Alte Bayindil has been nearly done as it seems uh, again Fabrizio seems to uh, he's ready to almost will be giving us a here we go uh, that uh, Bayindi will be joining for about six million pounds really for that one you obviously know a club has got to have a number two but also we are selling to Crystal Palace Dean Henderson is having his medical and the, whichever money we get for Dean Henderson will be able to save a bit because if you are getting Bayindi for six million pounds including add-ons uh, so obviously uh, we, we could save some money uh, top that uh, you know uh, t top on that to, to be able to go for uh, Sofian Amrabat. I feel, I mean, that's why I was telling you this whole week should be mostly about the players we sell and how much money we gather and then we go bid for our most important players. It is sad that this organization of the Luke Shaw injury and the left back is again seeming to, uh, you know, check a left back 
uh, seemingly changing, uh, rather about a, a, a Amrabat a midfielder, could now be changing to prioritize the left back. But regardless, if we do sell players, we should be get, able to get the money to get Kukurela, but most importantly, go for Sofian Amrabat, who has been patient. I'll give you a, an update, uh, putting it together, I'll give you a solid update uh, concerning Sofian Amrabat, because it seems moves are going on, and it seems it is actually very serious that Manchester United uh, will go and bid for him, and he could be joining us sooner rather than later. Hotspot, subscribe. My name is Webb. Don't you move a muscle. Guys, it is looking promising. That game, the second half against Tottenham Forest, put a few things right, and trust you me, Manchester United will be unplayable. Hotspot, subscribe. I'll see you later. Guys, today, by the way, uh, yeah, I'm in my Lakers purple cap because this week this was the week uh the great kobe bryant was born i'm a lakers fan too yeah i think many united supporters do support lakers too i and, and that's, that's legendary stuff i mean if you're a legend you should know which clubs to which teams to support in football and in any sport so yeah lakers kobe my god rest in peace and manchester united <laughs> guys catch you later